What's going on guys? Big BB back on the Game Case Arcades video. Say it with me. We got another free 99 Marketplace find. I can't be beat with these. <laughs> Let's take a look. All right, you know the drill. If you're not following me on all the socials, what are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. Click the link tree link down below. You'll see all the social links to Instagram, to Facebook, to YouTube, to TikTok. What are you waiting for? Be sure to follow. Also be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below on this video. Again, on all the socials, you'll see my daily life behind the scenes, whether I'm doing some builds, trying to get GC on a couple of pinball machines, or if I'm out and about at an arcade, you could just see me. Me. Some people like to watch what I do, and uh, the socials will give you that opportunity. <laughs> okay, be sure to go follow. What are you waiting for? Go follow, either now or after this video, and subscribe. <laughs> but enough of the social media plug. Let me turn on this cabinet here. Man, it's, uh, it's, I, I don't know. I, I just have, I just, I get speechless. I'm, I'm surprised at some of the stuff that I'm able to pull off. <laughs> yes, as you can see, and like I said before, I should trademark it. You are looking at right now a Golden T4 complete free 99 marketplace find. What a little uh, journey I got with this, but basically bought it home. I did see some, you're gonna see later on this, the little story time and uh, plugged it in and it works. Lady did advertise it as not working. It's had an electrical board issue. I don't know what that means. Again, you'll stay tuned for this little tiny story time, but uh, it works. Once you get past that little registration card, because this has a registration card reader, yeah, we're uh, we got some golden tea going on, and I I didn't really do much to get this to work. <laughs> but the best part, it was free ninety nine. Now, like I said, and I always kind of exaggerated. I try not to do it too much because on my other past videos, some people find it as me trying to uh, I don't know showboat or whatever you want to call it. I just got excited and uh, you know sometimes I make these videos to maybe also give you tips on how to score a free anything on marketplace whether it's an arcade cabinet maybe I don't know you want to find a refrigerator there's a couple of things that I personally you know you got to keep in mind it is free and majority of the time when something is free it is broken so me I like to tinker and I'll take my risk especially if it's free I also have, I'm not going to talk about it because honestly it's, it's going to go, but the, you see this? See this one right here? This Mega Touch that you would have seen on the Illinois V-Pin, because I got this about two or three weeks ago. That is another free 99 Marketplace find. I'm going to give you a quick spiel on that Mega Touch real quick. Yes, this is a, it's a whole different Mega Touch. That is a max edition. I had one a while back and then I gave it to my buddy Brad D. I gave it to him. Um, yes, I have another one. Vic, why did you get that? It's free. So I went to go pick it up. I thought it was going to be an easy fix, but it looks like the CRT is out. I think it's got either a vertical collapse, whatever it is, I can't get any image on the CRT. Me personally, I don't work on CRTs. And seeing the price of a CRT, it is going to cost more than what it would sell for. So if you're watching this and if you're in New York, that whole setup right there is going out for free. I'm going to be giving that to someone, whoever wants to pick it up. Go right on ahead. You can message me and such. It's already on Marketplace. I have that up for two weeks now for free on Marketplace and unfortunately there's no hits. I tested the actual computer in that on a separate like VGA monitor. It does boot. It does give me a touch screen, um, a touch, uh, the touch mode, the touch sensor uh, is not, the touch board is not connected. I didn't really go in depth looking at the power because once I discovered the CRT, it wasn't working. 
that right now is is basically useless. The only thing inside of it that's good is the computer. But yeah, there's another real quick plug for another free 99 for Facebook Marketplace find. But we're focusing on Golden Tea today. Now, what better way to start this whole Golden Tea story than to tell you about how it all started? I have mentioned it many times in my videos. I have on Facebook Marketplace my arcade and pinball search term and I have it like set for notifications. Anyway, yada, 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 I get a notification of a free, it's labeled free. This is also another thing that's just kind of annoying with Facebook. Um, I see free and I see this golden tee for complete. I'll obviously show you the picture right here. As you can see, you can see the advertisement. It says there, golden tee golf video game free. Of course, I didn't even look at the description. I'm like, I'm in, I, I, you know, it, Facebook's got its generic, I'm still, are, is this available? But I always delete that to show I'm a real person. I go, hey, I'll come pick this up ASAP and come right now and take it out of your house or I'll come tomorrow. Basically then the woman replies and she goes, what is your offer? And I was like, what, what do you mean by what is my offer? I, I, it was, I, I thought it was free. And she was like, no, read the description. So as you can see now on the description, it says here, classic video game. Electrical panel needs to be repaired. Best offer. So, I, I mean, just like you, what does that mean? You tell me, go ahead. What does the electrical panel needs to be repaired mean? And again, for me, I don't care. I don't read the description. I don't care what the issue is. I saw it as free. I said to her, I'll come pick it up. So like I said, she replied to me and she goes, you know, what's your best offer? I said, unfortunately, I don't know what electrical, you know, panel means, but um, if you need this gone out of your house, I'll come and take it away for free. She goes, I just posted this, I'll get back to you. You know, I, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to see who's gonna offer me something. So, no joke, two weeks go by. And I'm the type, I only message one time, that's it. I'm not gonna harass you, I'm not, I'm not that, that type of way. Two weeks go by, she replies to me. She goes, hey Vic, I have two people that sent me offers, but they're kind of like kicking tires. Uh, I just want this thing out of my house. I said, okay, you let me know what day and time and I'll come take it out of your house, I'll come pick it up. She goes, I'm just waiting for this one person that's supposedly coming this weekend. I said, let me know. Sure enough, two days before today, two days ago, she messaged me. She goes, Vic, these people, they're not coming. Just come and take it. I said, okay, cool. Do you happen to have anybody that could help me take it out of your house? Is there any steps? She goes, no, it's a straight shot from my, where it was in the picture you can see to like the deck. It's like one step. I said, okay, cool. If you have anybody that could help me out, I'll come right now. Um, she said, I'll have somebody tomorrow. I'm at work, blah, 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 blah. Yesterday comes and I was scheduled, or I said, I should say, I told her I'll come at five o'clock. We, we agreed on five o'clock to take this out. Uh, I get a text message yesterday at like 11 a.m. And she goes, hey Vic, I have actually like a doctor's appointment at five o'clock, but I put the arcade cabinet out on the street. It's ready for you whenever you want to pick it up. And this is again, 11 AM. Luckily right now I have the kiddo in school at this time, but I pick her up at 1230 and this was about 20 minutes away. So I was like, Oh crap. I was like, you put it outside. Like, you know, I hope like nobody takes it. I'll go in the car right now. She goes, it's like right next to my front door. So it's not really on the curb. I said, okay, cool. I hopped in the car and I hauled ass and I went out there. I have seen golden teas before seen these. This is a behemoth of a machine. This is big and it's heavy. I don't know how I did it, but I was alone. I do. I, I'm, I'm alone. Uh, I pulled up to this lady's house. I backed up my truck. I put it, I tilted it on the tailgate and somehow Hercules did it. I went from the bottom up and right into the truck. And I'm just surprised that right now my back is not killing me. This is a fucking tank. It's insane. She also has no keys. So there's no keys to the coin door. My original intent was to take this control panel off. I've seen that on videos like Todd Tucky has an old video and this does have wheels. So you really don't, you really can't imagine like the weight on this. And in all honesty, I think the weight is because of the screen. I believe it's a 25 inch CRT on this. Um, I had no help, but it's free. So what am I gonna do? Uh, you know, it was either like, if I couldn't get it there, you know, I would have just pushed it back next to her house and hauled it away. 
Long story short, I strapped it. This this cabinet cannot fit in my RAM with the tailgate closed. It's like it's like legit two inches too long for the tailgate to close. So I mean, it's tall. Look, this is almost the same height as a back box in the pinball machine. <laughs> So got this thing loaded in the truck, then I had to go pick up the kiddo. So it's actually funny that I went to go pick up the kiddo with a golden tee strapped uh, to the Ram. Came home and then now, uh, cause I'm, I'm just impatient. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out ways to get this thing off my truck. Uh, this is, this is, uh, it's heavy. Uh, I'm, I'm surprised at myself that I got it on the truck, but taking it off, I mean, I was staring at my truck for like an hour trying to game plan this. Uh, it's it's heavy and uh, I'm also a knucklehead that I don't like to ask for help this one It's I should have probably asked for help, but I got it down. It's actually funny I'll probably show you a little snippet. Maybe I'll, maybe I don't know uh, I'll show you like my, my, my driveway and I'm just kind of you know staring at the car uh, basically I took my pinball dolly and I put the cabinet and I pulled it on the dolly and then I dropped the dolly and it worked I was like, all right, instead of it going from like a four foot drop, now it's on like a five inch drop, uh, I'm good to go. So I got this cabinet down, again, floor height, and uh, I'm not gonna lie to you though, I did drop it. I'll probably, again, I'll, I'll probably just show you my, my security cameras. I had it on the cart and I forgot, like an idiot, I forgot this has wheels on the bottom of it. So I went and I heaved it up to, to bring it upright, and sure enough, at a certain point, the wheels started going with it. I actually dropped the cabinet. This actually went down. Uh, and I was like, oh crap, uh, you know, I should have waited. But uh, I had my neighbor close by, then we just, you know, I should have told him to hold like a dolly, whatever. I'm just the type again, like, and he's an old dude. He just likes to hang out and, and talk. Um, I'm the type, I, I kept saying to him, I was like, stand back. Cause if this thing drops and it's, I don't want it to, I don't want to hear that you stubbed your toe. I just stay the fuck back. I don't care if this would have broke. I don't care. I didn't pay for anything. I don't care. So anyway, I, we got it up, I got it up. I pulled it into the, the, the garage and something that I discovered right away. I don't know if it was my fault because I dropped the cabinet or if this is what the woman went meant by the electrical board needs replacing. Let me take you to the rear. Let me show you the CRT real quick. So I'm gonna go to cam mode here. So check this out real quick. You see this board right here? This board is actually connected to the tube. This whole entire board was off. This, this board came off. It was loose. So again, I don't know if in transit that happened in transit. I would have, maybe it did. It, it was like a hard drop. But before I even powered on this cabinet, I made sure that this went back into its socket. It, it goes right into the tube. It's actually very interesting. Put it in, powered on the cabinet, and then sure enough, uh, we got life. It, it came on and it works. <laughs> now real quick, I forgot to mention, if you look carefully at my security camera footage, yes, the actual control panel, I removed it. I thought it was going to save me some weight. I actually wanted to remove the whole computer panel. I'm going to show you how this thing opens up. I'll take you over there because you're too close. I was aiming to remove this because definitely this thing weighs a lot. So I feel like half the weight is also on the deck. And uh, I, I powered it on. The biggest relief was that I saw the CRT power on. I was like, oh, thank God. And it worked. This is, this is just, it works. <laughs> so you got one player game. You can pick a whatever, front nine, all nine to 18 holes. We're here at Mystic Hills on a pretty nice day. Pretty nice day. I'm not a golden tee player. Hit him straight. So, uh, you know, it's, it is what it is. Uh, this is definitely not a game that I personally like. I don't, I'm not a fan of golf, but it works. Look at this. So I could go here. Trackball is great on it. I'm gonna probably honestly open it up and clean it up. The CRT is great on it. As you know, you can't really record CRT, so you can see the line. Uh, if you don't see that, that's just you know the, the hertz, the refresh rate on it. But all in all, I am. Uh, it works. <laughs> Keep going, ball. Unbelievable, right? I, I can't believe it. 
Now, I did some research before I went to go pick this thing up because number one, I know the size of it. I, I knew it was going to be big, but Todd Tucky over at TNT, he actually has a video of him pulling this whole board just like that. Look at that. This whole board, now the one thing that I discovered after I, I literally had this cabinet on my truck pointing up to the sky. I'm like, before I decided to just put it on the pinball dolly, I'm like, how can I get this thing lighter? I wanted to take this whole panel out. And unfortunately, it's not that easy. There's a lot of wires going into the cabinet. I kind of wish it was, wish it was one big like Molex, but it's not. This is heavy. This right here, I'm, I'm very sure this whole assembly here, if I could have taken this off, it would have weighed half of what it is. But it's kind of cool to see like your service and all that. Um, uh, basically, to, for me to remove this panel, I just I took the micro switches like that. I just disconnected the micro switches and I was able to take off the panel. Uh, a couple of them, I'm gonna swap out one because it looks like either soda fell on it. It's just kind of sticky. But all in all, this is a, an unbelievable score. This is unreal. <laughs> if I was a Golden T fan, I'd be like, oh, I'm all, I'm be, I'd be all over this. But, uh, oh, shit. That was a I'm bad putt. <laughs> but I, right now, the only thing is I probably have to just either get a new light or I'll put LEDs up here for the marquee. It's funny to see here, there's, an actual, there's supposed to be a screen here. But this is now just converted to a speaker panel with a... Uh, you know, whatever plexiglass or the picture. Awesome. Let me uh, let me just let me hit this let me hit this putt real quick. <laughs> now, and you might be saying, Vic, what's the plan with this now? What are you thinking? I. The only reason I'm going to be touching this is because the actual CRT monitor has a VGA input. I've never seen that. I mean, again, I know my CRTs, but. I'm very excited to see that this one actually has an actual VGA port. Um, I'm planning to multicate this. No, we're not putting Street Fighter on this. I'm planning to do strictly trackball. Uh, yeah. So I have this up. I have this up right now on Facebook Marketplace. I have it for sale. Yes, it's for sale. I got it for free. It's going up for sale. Business is business. That's that's how I that's how I do. Um. I do have on the listing though, I wrote there that it's optional for me to multicate it. Uh, so my idea is I could put a mini PC. We're gonna do MAME, it's only MAME. Trackball games, and that's that's it. You're not gonna find Street Fighter on this, you're not gonna find Metal Slug on this. All trackball games. So luckily like the button layout is kind of like eh. You know, and I'll also, you know, if you know me, I do it in a way where just like the, the arcade back there, uh, it's gonna be dual boot. So you'll still have the original Golden T4, and then you'll have the optional Multicade. Uh, in all honesty, with this kind of setup, everything would just basically be, you don't have to swap anything. I would probably say you just have to, I would probably put a switch for like the, um, the power for this. This actually has like a PC power supply. It's got like a regular, you know, PC power. I'd probably put a switch to switch from one power to the other. I'm not going to change any of the buttons. Maybe I'll physically change the buttons, but I'm not going to put here like A and B. I'm not doing that. Basically, imagine Centipede, Millipede. Imagine all Golden Tees, Simpson Bowling, Capcom Bowling. Anything with a trackball, that's what would be on this. And again, the only real reason I'm able to pull that off slash I'm even entertaining the idea is because the CRT has the VGA input. If the CRT did not have that, I wouldn't be touching this. I wouldn't be doing like what I did with uh, with that one. Uh, well, that one had, yeah, no, that one was CRT to CRT. Luckily, this CRT has VGA, so yeah. So you could probably stay tuned. If you are in the market for a Golden T4 complete, uh, you can let me know. But this is already up for sale. I just put it up today. So as far as traction, we'll have to wait and see, but yeah. Who knows, maybe on the next episode slash video, maybe you'll see the multicade in this. <laughs> there you guys have it. The Golden T4 complete free 99 marketplace find. Send it.
Uh, imagine if it was just like hole in one. Like, oh. <laughs> Stay tuned for more. I have finally completed the Royal Rumble. Well, actually, no, I shouldn't say that. It's 99% complete. I am ordering a new Translite. But uh, I got a little story with that because I broke that for about a week. It was broken. So, yes, stay tuned. VicVP, Game Case Arcade. Nice little chip in, and I overshot it. There you go. You made it on. <laughs> Gone for 1.5.